last day we talked about placer versus load gold. Someone tell me, what's load? In the hard rock, in the bedrock. What's placer? Washed in water. Washed in streams and creeks and stuff like that. Now, if you think that through a little bit, it's missing something. You have something that's either in the hard rock or something that's in a river. Well, there's a lot of stuff that's in neither. There's a lot of stuff that's just laying on the ground up on the side of the hill. Really? Hmm? Really? Really? It's on, like you can just walk up and you'll see a little gold nugget. No, no, I'm just thinking material in general. Not necessarily gold, just dirt, rocks, rubble. So there is a different term that I want you guys to learn about the stuff that isn't necessarily yet in the placer, washed by water, but has still come out of the bedrock already. You'll notice two terms up here, alluvial and eluvial. Alluvial stuff is the placer. It's the stuff that has seen water at some point in history. It has been washed down rivers. It has been washed with something. It has been tumbled, eroded by water. And it creates an alluvial deposit. You may have heard of alluvial plains or alluvial fans or something like that when you're in science talking about geology. It's uh, where rivers wash down, wash material out of, the, out of the hills, and then it spreads out. Alluvial means it's been washed by water. Eluvial is the stuff that has eroded out of the bedrock. The bedrock has broken up, but it hasn't yet traveled far enough to get down into a river or a stream. It's just sitting on the mountain, sitting wherever it eroded away, but hasn't been washed by water, hasn't been washed by rivers. So alluvial is the stuff that's in the river already. Eluvial is the stuff that is eroded out and is just sitting there. Now gravity may have taken over a bit with eluvial, it might be eroded out of the side of a hill and fallen down, but it hasn't yet got far enough down that it gets into a stream bed. Eventually, it will. Because erosion always keeps taking things downhill, downhill. Over time, it will find its way to the bottom, which will be in a river. Say we had a couple mountains here. A mountain and a mountain. And in between those two mountains, there is a river flowing down. It flows down, it goes around, it goes out to the ocean. Now, in these mountains here, there's always weathering happening. There's always rocks breaking off the top and falling down. Now, if the rock breaks off from right here, say there's a little bit of a landslide, and that stuff tumbles down the mountain and falls into the river, as soon as it hits that river, it's now known as alluvial material, because it's being washed by the river. They both sound the same. Al and e. Ah, uh, yes. I guess uh, alluvial. Al. Water. Aqua. Think aqua. Aqua. Water. A. Aqua. Okay. Eluvial is erosion. Erosion. So, the stuff that fell out of the side of the mountain made to the river is in aqua, in water, it's alluvial. The stuff that has fallen off the top of the mountain and is just laying here on the mountainside? Eluvial. Eluvial. Now, if this stuff here falls down and maybe there's a little stream right here running down to the bigger river, if it falls into that stream, it's now Alluvial. If it falls down and maybe gets hung up right here so it doesn't make it to the stream, alluvial. Now, when you're talking about gold deposits, the stuff in the water is what kind of deposit? Alluvial. Alluvial, but we talked about two placer. different types. Placer. It's a placer deposit. Yeah. The stuff that doesn't make it to the stream is still considered load. Even though load is typically thought of as being in the bedrock, 
if you have a talus slope or a shale slide or something like that where the rocks are free of the bedrock but haven't yet been washed by water, they're still considered load material. Yes, sir? Have you ever just cracked open a rock and then you see gold inside the rock? Absolutely. When I'm done here, I'll show you one. Actually? I've got one in my office and I'll show it to you when we're done here. Right. Yep. Okay. So. There's still just the two different types of deposit. There's still just load and placer. But remember these two different types of geological deposits, the alluvial into the creeks, or the eluvial, free weathered stuff that's sitting on the surface but has never been washed by water. One of the nicest deposits I have found and got to play with is an eluvial deposit. One that actually is just gold that has eroded away from a great big iron sulfide mass. And the gold is still sitting there, but it's not been washed by water. Great little jagged nuggets. It's really neat stuff. Have you ever seen like a you got lots of questions today, don't you? A big potato-sized piece of gold? Absolutely not. Really? I'd love to. I, I've seen pictures, but not in per person. How much do you think that'd be worth? Lots. Dang. Okay, quiz next day. Alluvial. Remember A for aqua. Alluvial. Eluvial for erosion. Just a way to sort of remember it. Eluvial means it hasn't been washed by water. You'll notice there's a little bit of a difference in these two words as well. One has two L's, one only has one. I'm not quite sure why. But remember those two terms for next day's quiz. Awesome. Only two? Just two terms for next day.